क्रिकेट इज माई पैशन एंड आई कैनॉट अवॉइड इट अलामकुम गुड मॉर्निंग सत्याकाल नमस्कार टू ऑल द लवली पीपल अराउंड द वर्ल्ड द बिग क्लैश द बिग क्लैश द क्लैश ऑफ द वर्ल्ड आई वुड से the mother of all matches india and pakistan is going to begin today and it is a match which a billion people is going to watch around the world and to discuss about that match we have the 2009 t20 world cup winner umar gul who was also part of the 2007 world cup where pakistan had lost and who's got great records in the shorter format as well as in the longer format umar gul welcome to the show thank you anish bhai thank you so much well umar gul uh, you know what uh, india pakistan match it cannot get bigger than this uh obviously uh, like uh, people talk about uh, ashes but i think this is bigger bigger than ashes always uh, pressure game always uh, like the people they enjoyed uh, to play uh, each other uh, india pakistan so yeah it, it will be a good uh, game and pressure game uh, once again and um, uh, i wish uh that india pakistan play more than like uh, we only uh, play in icc or acc so i pray and wish that uh, the, the revival of india and pakistan start once again well umar gul says it is bigger than the ashes and umar gul wants that they don't only really play the icc or acc governments but they also play bilateral see we hope inshallah this happens umar gul but coming to you know before i come to tomorrow's match i have to ask you about the t20 world cup in 2007 you were so near yet so far tell me uh, get back the memories of that world cup you were absolutely brilliant in the final where you got the wickets of gautam gambhir you got yuvraj singh and you knocked over the skipper ms dhoni tell us what happened uh, in that world cup in a short thing where you can explain us to all our fans uh to be honest anish bhai before the world cup we did a lot of hard work for the tent uh, we used to play t20 cricket in past that uh, uh maybe you know about that uh, we played a lot of t20 cricket in ramadan in especially in karachi uh, the play they, they used to go there in karachi uh, in ramadan and they play like a uh, uh, couple of good tournaments so uh we had that experience of t20 cricket and the second thing is uh most of the asian cricket uh, cricketer like uh, uh, i can uh, uh, i would say that india pakistan they used to uh, start cricket with the tennis ball uh so it's also help us a lot uh, and uh, before the world cup i still remember we had a good uh, uh camp like it was one month camp and uh, uh not only we did the uh work on our phys- uh, f- uh, physical fitness but also uh, with the uh, uh cricket skills we did a lot of work and uh, uh i still remember in 2007 we couldn't uh, start uh, well but uh, uh then uh, uh jis tarah uh, tournament hota ja raha tha to hamari wo jo performance thi wo achhi better se better ho gayi thi aur phir uh, final ya yeah, once again it was a uh, big game uh, final and then india pakistan obviously pressure came uh, pressure tha lekin the, the thing was i was in good form and uh, to be honest at that time uh, i wasn't worry who is facing me because i was uh, uh, very confident and i was in good form so yeah uh, ms dhoni wicket was very crucial for me uh, because he was in good touch he was performing very well at that time yeah uh the, the the way he was hitting the ball so yeah uh, i bowled him uh, uh with the like uh, i make a plane with the captain when he came to bait uh she asked the member she malik asked me what are you going to bowl him i said the first ball i will go and bowl him a bouncer and uh, i bowled him and he, he like uh, he ducked and then second ball uh, again he asked me no what, what are you going i said i'll go for the yorker because at that time i was uh, like uh, my, my that, that was my weapon yorker and bouncer so i bowled a yorker with them uh, to him and uh, i got him out so i think it was a big moment for me and uh, like at that time ms dhoni was in good touch in good form so yeah he was the key player in the 2007 well that was going to be my next question that out of all three wickets which was the key wicket and you mentioned ms dhoni and we know how ms dhoni has evolved as a player after that but Uh, you know i have to again ask about the 2019 t20 world cup how was that feeling that you won that world cup 
how was that hero's welcome you all got in pakistan i think we were waiting for that moment that uh, to win uh, an icc event a big trophy that because uh, uh, i mentioned so many times that that uh, we won an icc trophy in back in 1992 uh, in the leadership of imran khan so everybody wants to play the final and win the final uh, although we we couldn't win in 2007 we were just close one one step away uh, we uh, we lost the final Uh, but uh, the 2007 uh, 2009 world cup it was uh, again a good opportunity for us at that time like uh, the t20 was like uh, uh, newly started it uh, um, uh, cricket world so as i said early that uh, we used to play a lot of t20 cricket we, we had the experience at that time so we just tried to uh, learn from our mistakes and uh, it did them to be honest uh, the um, the people of pakistan they were so so much, they, they they had so much problems in the shape of like the country situation and uh, the people they they, they uh, we just want to make the people happy and the cricket is the only thing uh, it's like uh, play a, a big role uh, not only to uh, make the people happy but also whenever uh, in the pakistan uh, they, they had some problem so the cricket was uh, the only thing to bring them uh, together bring them uh, close so yeah it was uh, a good opportunity and uh, we just uh, we ha- we had a, a plan and target in our mind to win this uh, world cup and make our people happy so yes um, uh, we succeeded to win the cup and then when we came to home uh, i can't uh, imagine the people how they welcome us and uh, the people everybody that the player uh who belong from which city they go there and uh, and like you can say big rallies may block jalus kal mein har players ko jo airport se pick kiya and then they they uh, unko apne gharon pe jis tarah unke uh, like log aaye aur unka istiqbal kiya aur khushiyan manayi so i think it was a big moment for us well umar gul said that cricket brings a lot of happiness on the fans of india and pakistan and winning the world cup after 1992 and 2009 was a big gap and that he's very proud that he was part of that team absolutely umar gul we all are proud of you now we have to talk about the big match which is happening today india versus pakistan well uh, you know so far so many years india had that you know wood over pakistan but they changed it last year in uae itself in the same ground dubai where pakistan actually beat india by 10 wickets now going into tomorrow's match Will Pakistan have that little bit of edge and confidence? Uh, Anish, boy, obviously, uh, as you said earlier, that uh, we couldn't win uh, in ICC uh, 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 like trophy, World Cup, but uh, champion trophy uh, against India. So I think it was the first time that we win, uh, we won the game against India in ICC champion trophy, and yeah, obviously, we also wishing to win Pakistan. especially the people you know ke uh, very famous word moka moka so i think isko change karna but i hope so ke wo ab change ho gaya wo wo ek jo world tha wo moka moka ab mere khayal se wo logo ke mind se to nikal gaya hai dono side se so yeah looking forward acha game hoga aur obviously jis tarah aapne mention kiya ki thoda sa advantage hoga pakistan ko jo ek mindset bana hua tha ki hum icc trophy mein ya acc ki bade event mein Uh, हम इंडिया से नहीं जीते तो ऑब्वियसली प्लेयर्स को भी एडवांटेज है और द सेकंड थिंग इज इन पाकिस्तान टीम मोस्ट ऑफ द प्लेयर्स दे 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 आर यंग दे आर न्यू एंड दे डोंट हैव दैट मच प्रेशर लाइक जब हम खेलते थे बीइंग अ सीनियर ऑलवेज यू 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 फेस प्रेशर मोर देन द यंगस्टर सो आई थिंक ये भी एडवांटेज है कि मोस्टली लड़के यंगस्टर है एक ग्रुप एक एज के ग्रुप के है ज्यादा प्रेशर उनपे नहीं होगा और ऑब्वियसली जो अभी इतना टाइम नहीं हुआ वर्ल्ड कप में अगेंस्ट इंडिया जीतना टू बी ऑनेस्ट एक उसके लिए पाकिस्तान टीम के लिए बूस्ट अप होगा और अदर साइड इंडिया भी वो सोचता हो कि यार अभी रिसेंटली पाकिस्तान हमसे जीते तो ऑब्वियसली वो वो और और भी ज्यादा दे विल बी मोर कॉन्शियस एंड मोर फोकस सो आई थिंक वंस अगेन इट विल बी अ गुड गेम So Umar Gul says that you know the the, the mindset of Pakistan team will be definitely different, and they will come with a lot of confidence when they take on India this time because the monkeys of the back that they have finally beaten India in an ICC, absolutely no doubt.
now going to the match you know last year pakistan had the left arm pacer shine shah afridi who knocked over rohit sharma and kl rahul and probably also he got virat kohli but that were the three big wickets which turned the pairs this time they do not have it do you see pakistan bowling will be affected in the absence of shine shah afridi uh to be honest uh, pakistan have uh, like uh, the other guys they, they are so uh, they they have uh, they have some good bowler but obviously shaheen him uh, like uh, he's playing from like 3 4 years he is uh, uh, with the team from 3 uh, 4 years and obviously he is the left arm so when once he get the swing and swing so it always uh, uh, put some pressure on the batsman they 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 they, they uh, उनको जो ना प्रॉब्लम क्रिएट कर सकता है और जैसा कि हमने देखा भी है इंडियन प्लेयर को जिस तरह उसने के राहुल को आउट किया था रोहित रोहित को आउट किया था सो उनको प्रॉब्लम है इन स्विंग पे तो अभी अगर आप देखें तो शाहीन ही हमारे पास लेफ्ट आर्म पेसर है जो कि वो अर्ली ऑन ने बॉल के साथ स्विंग भी कर रहा था तो वो फैक्टर तो ऑब्वियसली दैट फैक्टर गुड कॉज पाकिस्तान but as i said earlier that uh, still they have some good bowler in the shape of like uh, uh, hasnain came back uh, after his uh, bowling action uh, nasim shah uh, he is performing very well uh, uh, quick and young and uh, the other guy uh, one more shanaz dani shanaz dani he is very talented and the the, the most important thing, uh, thing is he is very confident guy so variation well you have hit it right that they have nasim shah who recently picked up five wickets against netherlands they have uh, you know we're talking about mohammad asnain who's very very quick and they have the witty and street smart confident shanaz dhani i i'm sure you know as we say that pakistan is known to produce fast bowlers and india will have to look out for this fast bowlers now let me come once again uh, to the pakistan team in their batting order you know pakistan's World Cup campaign last year, which we saw revolved around two big players, yeah. Mohammad uh, Rizwan, the ca- wicketkeeper batsman, yeah. and Babar. Now, like India, we're depending on Virat Kohli's and the KL Rahul's and the Shikhar Dhawan in the top, and the Rohit Sharma. Do you think that the middle order is going to be a little bit of weakness for Pakistan because if they get out early, for instance, Pakistan might be exposed? Uh, Anis, boy, uh, it matters a lot. like uh, not only for pakistan but obviously for every team uh, if uh, if you couldn't have, have a good start from the openers always uh, the middle order they they, they 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 can come under pressure like jis tarah aapne dekha hoga india team ke sath jo last hum t20 mein pakistan jeeta tha so obviously top order jaldi out ho gaye arish jaldi out ho gaya kl rahul jaldi out ho gaya so then uh, the, the rest of the batsmen they 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 they, uh, they have the pressure to build up in innings to give a good uh, target on the board so obviously um, acha start important hota hai and the, as you said that uh, the zwan and babar they playing uh, like good cricket from last couple of years so a big responsibility against on them and uh, in the top order uh, pakistan have uh, uh, fakhar uh, fakhar zaman uh, he is also in good touch and uh, uh, a big responsibility also on them लेकिन फिर अगर आप मिडल ऑर्डर में देखते हैं तो ऑब्वियसली थोड़ा सा स्ट्रगल कर सकते हैं आप कर से कह सकते हैं कि मिडल ऑर्डर हमारे इतने एक्सपीरियंस नहीं है पाकिस्तान हैव लाइक इन द शेप ऑफ वी हैव हैदर अली हैदर अली सर ही इज नॉट द मिडल ऑर्डर बैट्समैन एक्चुअली ही इज द टॉप ऑर्डर ओके खुश दिल शाह yeah he is the pure middle order batsman khush dil shah again he performed very really well and he had the uh, he has the reputation uh, to hit the ba- the bowlers uh, like uh, big sixes so yeah uh, the top order is very important for pakistan uh, if they give pakistan a good start then the rest of the guys like uh, uh, khush dil shah ba- uh, iftikhar and shadab they can hit and they can uh, like uh, put good decent score on the board you right like uh, like umar gul said that if the top order somehow doesn't perform with like babar or uh, mohammad rizwan or in the case of india with rohit or kl or virat it creates a problem so this time you say that it will be tested pakistan's middle order in the name of haider ali we talk about khush dil shah fakhar zaman we all know what fakhar zaman can do is a dangerous player fakhar zaman 
हाँ बिल्कुल 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 आई थिंक पाकिस्तान को अगर वोरियो के तौर से बैटिंग में बॉलिंग हमेशा से हमारे पास तो अच्छी होती है मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम द बॉलर विन गेम फॉर अस सो या आई थिंक अगर आप इंडिया की टीम भी देखें तो आई थिंक उनके भी जो एक एक्सपीरियंस बॉलर है बुमराह ही इज नॉट फिट ही इज नॉट पार्ट ऑफ द स्क्वाड सो उनके भी कुछ यंगस्टर है उन पर भी प्रेशर होगा और फिर जो एडिशनल प्रेशर होता है इंडिया पाकिस्तान का वो तो ऑब्वियसली दोनों साइड पर होगा well umar gul has said like pakistan don't have shine shaf with the india mind you does not have just with bumrah and they have youngsters in avish khan uh, they have uh, the left armer uh, from uh, the punjab kings team i'm just not able to rec- recollect his name but they have the experience of bhuvneshwar kumar we are talking yeah. about arshdeep singh you know arshdeep singh and avish khan uh, are the two paces along with bhuvneshwar kumar and hardik pandya but uh, they're definitely in pakistan can take advantage of that inexperience of india like how pakistan have the inexperience of the bowling now yeah. coming to the batting of india you know umar gul we all know virat kohli is not in the prime form uh, what, what, what do you think is going wrong with virat kohli i mean aisa kya ho raha hai virat kohli ke sath i think it's happened with the players like uh, you can't say that uh, like uh, he is not good enough anymore uh it happening kafi uh, saalon se perform kar raha tha uh, bad time aata hai players pe and um, i wish ke wo perform kare uh, kyunki uh, virat kohli to be honest uh, main main khud uska bada fan hu main mera favorite hai aur uh, usne mera khayal se ek youngster ke liye ek wo ek role model hai not only in india but all over the world uh, he's uh, he became a role model for the youngster and uh, day before yesterday i met him in the ground and uh, I, uh, he came to me and uh, we hugged each other and uh, i told them don't worry it doesn't matter you performing or not but you are a great and self confidence it always uh, depend so he said me yeah it is all always uh, almighty all is there so what is happening it's from the up so he was confident and uh, i know he has the ability he will bounce back and uh, he could be dangerous uh, i'm i'm telling you well umar gul says uh, virat kohli can be dangerous and the bromance i would say between india and pakistan players off the field is absolutely marvelous well they say that umar gul hugged the virat kohli and he's a big fan of him now coming to other players you know we all know rohit sharma is the new captain and under rohit sharma india is playing that attacking brand of cricket when we say the attacking india was known to start slowly and then pick up the tempo but now under rohit sharma you see the likes of the surya kumar yadav and the pants everybody going from big uh, ball one they want to go hard do you think this is a danger sign for pakistan oh, obviously uh, just team ke against we kar le ye 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 to ye ye, ye to fact hai ke uh, uh, इंडिया के जो बैटिंग आए ना पे स्पेशली टी ट्वेंटी में दे आर वेरी डेंजरस दे प्लेट लाइक फ्रॉम कपल ऑफ ईयर्स आई पी एल ने बड़ा उनको इनकी क्रिकेट चेंज uh, करने में बड़ा रोल रोल है आई पी एल का और अगर आप देखें तो रोहित शर्मा एम सेल्फ ही इज वेरी अटैकिंग प्लेयर फिर के एल राहुल को देखे फिर अगर आप पांड्या फिर सूर्य कुमार को पांड को देखे तो आई थिंक Uh, they, they are at time they are very dangerous uh, anyone uh, like uh, uh, he could change the game so what strategy pakistan should have because now india has approached the england style of attacking cricket go bang bang the gungo cricket so aapke hisab se what should pakistan do to you know make sure ke they have a plan of course they will be having a plan but what do you think if you were pakistan's fast bowler how do you tackle this attacking style of indian cricket Uh, obviously go go and take uh, and take wicket with the new ball and first power, power play is very important if you take two three wickets uh, obviously the team uh, uh, come under pressure and uh, i think the key point is uh, uh, taking wicket new ball ke sath wicket lena bada important hai agar power play acha khelta hai india to obviously phir to pressure mein aa sakte hai pakistani bowler unki jo batting depth hai bahut zyada hai एक्सपीरियंस भी है उनको टी ट्वेंटी का और भी ज्यादा एक्सपीरियंस है आईपीएल ने जिस तरह मैंने ऑलरेडी कहा तो मेरे ख्याल से पाकिस्तानी बॉलर्स को अगर 
परफॉर्म परफॉर्म करना होगा पाकिस्तानी बॉलर्स को विकटें लेनी होगी अगर विकेट नहीं लेते तो फिर मेरे ख्याल से हाई स्कोरिंग मैचेस मैच हो सकता है इफ हु इज दैट मेन प्लेयर इंडिया पाकिस्तान इज टू वरी अबाउट दैट बैट्समैन यू थिंक अकॉर्डिंग टू यू और यू मेंशन अबाउट द रोहित शर्मा द राहुल द विराट द सूर्य कुमार यादव द पंत द पांड्या आपके हिसाब से खतरनाक प्लेयर कौन है इंडिया के पाकिस्तान के हिसाब से यू नो सारे अच्छे बट आप अगर टारगेट करोगे तो एक डेंजर प्लेयर जिसको कहोगे अगर इंडिया की बैटिंग में अगर आप कहें तो ऑब्वियसली रोहित हेमसेल्फ रोहित हो गया के एल राहुल हो गया और पैंट पैंट जो है ना ये ये ऐसे प्लेयर ना कि ये गेम को चेंज कर सकते हैं विराट कोहली आई नो ग्रेट प्लेयर बट वो जिस तरह वो क्रिकेट खेलता है ना कि वो बिल्कुल लाइक प्रॉपर क्रिकेटिंग शॉट खेलता है उसके उसके जो बैटिंग स्टाइल है वो अपने पूरी टीम को लेके जाता है वो इनिंग्स बिल्ड करता है अपने साथ दूसरे प्लेयर्स को भी खिलाता है की रोल है वो उसका लेकिन एट टाइम अगर आप बात करें टी ट्वेंटी में अगर डेंजरस हो सकते हैं तो मेरे ख्याल से ये तीन डेंजरस हो सकते हैं पैंड हो गया के राहुल एंड रोहित well umar gul says the three dangerous players pakistan needs to be look out now is rohit sharma kl rahul and pant now i cannot help but ask about babar azam the as they say they compare babar azam and virat kohli babar azam from the time he's taken you know he's been scoring runs in all formats is the number one t20 player tell us more about babar azam to our fans because a lot of people still don't know because babar azam that shy type who speaks less babar azam ke bare mein bataiye apne fans ko I think Babar Azam बड़ा एक तो मेहनत ही है उसका जो जो प्रोसेस टूवर्ड द गेम टूवर्ड द मैच बिफोर द गेम जो प्रोसेस उसका होता है बड़ा ज़बरदस्त होता है वो अपने पूरे उस पर बैटिंग पे काम करता है और ही डजेंट वेस्ट हिस्स टाइम वंस ही कम टू द नेट uh he did proper batting uh, he uh, he, uh, he does batting uh, properly uh, like wo apne match ke hisab se net mein bhi uh, wo batting karta hai ye nahi ke wahan pe ja ke idhar udhar shot hi khelta hai ya t20 bas jo uske head position sahi nahi hota haath ki aur jagah pe hota hai balla ki aur jagah pe hota hai proper cricketing practice karta hai jo jo process hai uska towards the match wo sahi bada zabardast hota hai और इसीलिए तो वो परफॉर्म कर रहे हैं बड़ा कंसिस्टेंट है और फोकस है और जो सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट चीज़ ये कि वो लाइक अंडर सेवनटीन अंडर नाइनटीन लेवल से बड़ा मैनेज था और एक प्रोसेस के थ्रू वो आया है ये नहीं कि वो आया है उसमें पोटेंशियल थी और जितने भी सेलेक्टर्स थे या उस टाइम पे या जो कोचिस थे उसकी जूनियर लेवल पे उन देख आई जन कोचिंग है एंड एक प्रोसेस के थ्रू आया है so that's why he is very consistent and uh, focus on his game so that's what umar gul says that babar alam has just not come into cricket he's come through a process through the under 19 cricket he doesn't play airy fairy shots he has a proper technique and when he bats he bats like a champion uh, if if at all i had to ask you one x factor from pakistan like you mentioned about india's x factor the x factor from pakistan team going into tomorrow's match against india obviously uh, babar uh, after long time like uh, we got a good player a good batsman so babar or uh, rizwan and then uh, if uh, fakhar zaman x factor ho sakte hai ye teen top order players hai uh, agar power play first power play acha khelte hai to obviously indian team ko under pressure la sakte hai and then uh, लोअर ऑर्डर में या मिडिल ऑर्डर में अगर लास्ट के ओवर में अगर आप देखते हैं आसिफ अली मैं भूल गया था आसिफ अली एक्स फैक्टर होता है और खुश दिल सा इन दोनों में एबिलिटी है कि ये बड़े हिट मार सकता है कहीं पे भी जितने भी बाउंड्री वो जब वो हिट करते हैं तो वो 60 70 मीटर्स की नहीं होते वो जाते हैं एटी नाइन्टी मीटर पर तो ये दोनों तो, लेटर ऑन ये एक्स फैक्टर हो सकते हैं पाकिस्तान के लिए well umar gul says not only babar azam fakhar zaman and mohammad rizwan he mentioned about khushdil shah and asif ali and we all know what asif ali did last year in the t20 world cup that they can clear any boundary now umar gul i have to ask you this question india or pakistan tomorrow i know you are a pakistan cricketer but if you had to pick one team and why uh obviously uh, i'll go with 
uh, with pakistan uh, i belong from pakistan uh, and uh, uh, agar aap uh, ye kahe ke apart of that i am pakistani uh, recently jo 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 form hai aur uh, agar pakistan uh, batting second karta hai to advantage hai uh, india ke uh, unexperienced bowling ki क्योंकि बुमराह के ना होने से ऑब्वियसली फर्क पड़ेगा लेकिन अगेन बॉलर्स का बड़ा की फैक्टर है हमारे पाकिस्तान टीम के लिए अगर हम पहले बॉलिंग करते हैं तो अगेन हमने जल्दी ओपनर को आउट करना होगा अदरवाइज द वे रोहित एंड के एल राहुल फेमस फॉर दियर बैटिंग स्टाइल तो फिर डेंजरस हो सकते हैं तो दोनों साइड पे स्टिल अभी वेल उमर गुल हैज सेड डेफिनेटली ही वांट्स पाकिस्तान टू डू वेल एंड टॉस माइट प्ले अ क्रूशियल रोल बिकॉज ही फील्स दैट इफ पाकिस्तान चेज द इन एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ इंडियन बॉलिंग माइट कम इन टू प्लेस वील हैव टू वेट एंड वॉच वॉट हैपन्स द वर्ल्ड इज गोइंग टू वॉच दिस मैच बट माई डियर फ्रेंड यू हैड उमर गुल एक्सप्रेसिंग इज व्यू पॉइंट अबाउट द इंडिया पाकिस्तान मैच द राइवलरी Thank you, Umar Gul. It was absolutely, absolutely a pleasure to talk to you. You have been a legend on the field and off the field. I am sure all the people who are going to listen to this show are going to say a legend off the field. Thank you, Umar Bai. Thank you, Anish Bai. Thank you so much.